This is a self-proclaimed TikTok chef, and at the point of this interview, she'd just gone viral for shipping out a rotting sauce in the Florida heat with no preservatives. And what she's about to say to her customer will ruin her business forever. You're not special. I am left dumbfounded every time I see that clip, but when this happened, she essentially lost the respect of everyone who saw that clip. Then to make things worse for the show, I guess, the host Karama decided to back her and double down. And his image was also ruined in the same episode. I think the learning is more on your part. Yes. Okay. And that's being real. So I mean, that whole episode was just a two for one sale for delusional takes. But what happened next kind of surprised me because Karamo actually deleted that episode from YouTube, or at least temporarily. They brought the customer alley back later on onto the show and apologized. And then they announced that, oh, by the way, Chef P, she just partnered with this massive sauce company and now, her pink sauce is in Walmart's nationwide. And that was just extremely confusing because it seems like Chef P was just making terrible decision after terrible decision and taking colossal L's, but still was being rewarded for all that. And unfortunately for her, those terrible decisions just kept happening over and over again. Chef P, she received an opportunity of a lifetime and all she had to do was make content promoting her new sauce that was not effed up. The sauce that was not rotting before it arrived to the customer. Oh my God. Look at this! But what did she do? Absolutely not that. Apparently she couldn't do that because not far into her new partnership, she went radio silent for months. And then out of nowhere, she made a video attacking the company that saved her business, claiming she now can't feed her kids because they haven't paid her. And at the same time, she also dropped a GoFundMe to raise money where she made a bunch of wild accusations saying, I made a few mistakes on the way, which led me to trust a company that's trying to take everything away from me. They lied to me. They're not paying me and are not being transparent about records. I have tried on multiple occasions to try and come to one accord with them, but they refuse to reimburse me for marketing expenses that I spent my own funds towards. I have been silenced and financially sabotaged. I am a single mom and I do everything for my kids. Right now, I don't even have enough money to buy my kids food on my own. My mom is on disability and has been giving us $20 just to get by on a daily basis. School is a few days away and I haven't been able to get my kids clothes or anything. I am currently facing an eviction that has gone into default. The sheriffs can come to my door any day now. I need legal help. They're refusing to pay me the royalty that is owed to me. I don't know what else to do. I can't give up. I need help. And when a little time went by, it now seems like those were some absolute insane allegations that just seemed um, very misleading to say the least. Because Dave's, they showed that they've paid her roughly $100,000 over the span of about nine months. And the wildest part of this was they also claimed that Chef P cut ties with them when they didn't want to fund a $10,000 birthday party for her. And this is after she's taken tens of thousands of dollars of advances from Dave's Gourmet, and she hasn't really been promoting the sauce. And we thought the situation ended there, but her GoFundMe that she started amongst other things to, you know, get into a little um, legal battle with uh, Dave's Gourmet, she raised over $20,000 thanks to an NBA player. But as you may guess, you know, after kind of lying about your business partner, allegedly, and, uh, you know, kind of threatening legal action with your business partner that has also absolutely saved your business. That was the final nail in the coffin for the pink sauce because shortly after, it seems like um, not only was the pink sauce put on clearance, but it was also removed from Walmart. But this also seems somewhat inevitable due to the poor performance of the sauce. It's hard to have a successful sauce company when you launch it the way that she did. And especially when you go onto national television and advertise it in the way that she did. Advertise it. Because, you know, sure, she got everyone talking about it, but uh, she's the last business owner you really want to support when the business owner treats the customer like she did. So if she simply didn't become one of the most hated entrepreneurs in America by doing that and simply did the basic work of actually promoting promoting the sauce on her platform consistently, she wouldn't really have been here, but here we are. And from what I can tell, she hasn't sued Dave's Gourmet yet, but apparently she's now made a new sauce, a blue sauce this time. And she's using the exact same bottle she originally used when she shipped out the rotting pink sauce all across America. So that really leaves me with the question, will history repeat itself? All right, y'all. So when I first started pouring, I was like, oh my gosh, this is like so dark, but it tastes good. But I didn't really like how it looked. Now, once I started pouring the one that had the lighter color, and oh my gosh, I was like, oh, this is 
it, right? But at the time, I was formulating a sauce. So I was like, you know, what's range of variation? Or what if somebody wants their sauce darker, but then the other person wants it lighter? Or what if they wanted to customize the entire hue of it? At this point, she's just rolling with the Heinz Easy Squirt Sauce colors, if you remember those from the early 2000s. And then that's when I thought about it. Oh my gosh, I used the same freaking ingredient to make it lighter versus darker. So why don't we alter something and give people the option to be able to alter them too? And yes, I'm doing a longer, fuller eating video because I really think that I don't consume my products, but I really, really do. But likely marked up to an astronomical price because remember the sauce that was arriving rotting to people's doors? Well, that was apparently $20. But do you know what would make launching a sauce like this a whole lot easier? If she didn't burn down her manufacturer and distributor bridge. Because let's be real, if her rollout is anything like the first one, this is going to be a massive dumpster fire all over again. Also, this gives y'all a uh, option to do whatever you want. So if you consume dairy or if you're plant-based, you can still consume my product. If you like creamy stuff, if you like sweet stuff, I mean, there's so much that you can do. But yes, honey, this is blue. And of course, it is all naturally colored. And please don't mind the people talking in the background because I have children, but I am a working woman. And yes, this idea is super califragilistic, espialidocious. And thank you so much for my supporters. I love y'all. I can tell, but she's not really making it look very appetizing though. And the last time she sold sauce out of her kitchen, she was literally shut down by the FDA. So uh, this'll be interesting. I'll tell you when I softened, cause I knew something was wrong. Pay attention to your instinct. <laughs> She definitely has a lot in common with a TikTok psychic. I mean, she's even referencing her psychic instincts now. But she also dropped some marketing material for this blue sauce, which she's now apparently calling lilac. Okay. I would guess this is promoting a weird rave club way before a sauce. And now she's posting stuff like, don't waste your time on revenge. The people who hurt you will eventually face their own karma. <laughs> Then the top comment says the hypocrisy is insane. And now, as you can see, she's spending her time dunking on her audience after saying that quote. But what does she even do if she wants to be successful again? I guess she has to get some sort of industrial kitchen. I guess kind of like the pickle girl. The pickle girl, she seemingly got her stuff together, got an industrial kitchen and started doing things by the book. So, hey, she she learned from her mistakes. Pink sauce lady. Not quite yet, but she made things infinitely harder for her by just burning down the entire connection with Dave's Gourmet. All she had to do was promote the sauce and collect royalty checks. But instead now she's making weird videos where she's pouring Pepto into pasta and calling it a day. So um, it's really hard to see where this is going. But if you're lost and confused in this and you wanna know how we actually got here, you can check out this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.